If you have just upgraded to the newest version of PixInsight and StarNet2 has disappeared, here's how you can reinstall it. So open up Google and type in StarNet2. This is the StarNet official page. Click on that. Go to downloads at the top. And right over here, select your operating system. In my case, it is Windows. And get the version that's for the newer installation, PixInsight 1.8.9-2. And make sure to select fresh install because you just reinstalled PixInsight. Click on that and download it to a location where you can later find it. And I'll just right click and extract all of these files. And once the files have been extracted, I can delete the zip file. And now we will go to our PixInsight directory and make sure PixInsight is, uh, is closed right now. Do not open PixInsight yet. So your PixInsight installation will be in C, Program Files, PixInsight, and then open the bin folder in the PixInsight installation folder. And then from the StarNet folder that you just extracted, open that up and then copy all of these files and paste them into the PixInsight bin directory. And I'll click replace files in destination because I already tried this once. So all of those files are now inside the PixInsight bin directory. Now we can open up PixInsight. And once you have opened up PixInsight, go to process at the top. On the right, go to modules, click install modules. And over there, make sure it's pointing to the bin directory in your PixInsight installation. Otherwise, you can click browse and you can find it manually. Once you have that selected, click on search at the bottom left and it'll say one additional module has been found. That is the StarNet2 module right there. And then just hit install. Now you can find it if you go to process, ETC at the bottom and StarNet2. There we go. Let's uh, try it out on a sample image. This is a sample image. We will select both of these options and drag and drop that onto the sample image. And there we go. So it looks like StarNet2 is working quite well. So thanks for watching and I hope you found that helpful.